is a review on Schminky Horanam watercolor paints, artist quality watercolor paints. Um, this is basically, um, you know, there are a couple of artist quality paints. I work with Schminky, Winsor & Newton, Artist Paints, and with Talons, Rembrandt, and Old Holland. Um, but of the brands that I have, <coughs> if I would have to choose one brand, if I would not be allowed to um, use all the brands um, together, then Schminky would be it. And um, that is personally, that is totally based on a personal opinion and on my experience and on my preferences. So you may totally disagree with me, no problem there, but this is what I like about it. Right, about the paint. Um, I started out buying a, um, a set with these paints, the basic, a basic set. Um, and they also have these full, this is a half pen, this is a whole pen. And um, I bought a couple of these. I have another box. It even contains gold and silver. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but I really like the way the color washes out. I like it, how it does that. Um, my personal preference is based on how the color behaves, how the colors mix, and um, what I think um, sets Schmincke apart a bit from the others is that I have a feeling when I work with it that the pigments are very fine and they very often have this beautiful film that they lie over the paper. Um, that's what I like for my work, but you may prefer different, differently. There is a gold and silver. Do I, I bought them because, you know, I, I like a little bling in my work every now and then. Um, I am not as happy with it as I thought I would be because when you use it on paper, I put a lot of layers on here, so you can see it does shine a little bit. Um, but I have to say that in, um, you know, eventually in my work, it doesn't show as beautifully as I thought it would. So um, it's it's a lot. It's hard to to it's 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 a little bit harder um, to get the color into the brush than of the other. Uh, of the other pens. Um, picking up paint with a wet brush is very easy. Schminky um, has a different way of getting the paint into the pens, which makes the paint uh, very easily. You can dilute it very easily. You can make it, you can moisten it very easily. Um, the colors are very vibrant, very vivid. They are uh, well balanced and um, I like the color chart. I like the palette that they have. Uh, they have some really beautiful and stunning colors. Like this green is a really beautiful green and this olive green. You know, you would say that um, all those other brands with over 100 colors on a color chart would have the same green. No, they're different. So um, when you're about to start buying artist quality paint and you're doubting about the colors you want and you're doubting about the brand that you want or the brands, then it would be a very good idea to visit an artist store, uh, an art supply store where they have color charts of all the brands so that you can just, you know, put them next to each other and take a good look. Which red do you prefer? Which blue do you prefer? The yellows? The... Uh, but especially there is always a lot of difference in the reds and in the blues for some reason. I don't know why that is. Yellows, um, sometimes the Indian yellow differs a bit, but um, I find the biggest differences to be in the purples, the yellows, the pinks. No, the purples, the reds, the pinks, and the blues. So, um, and the greens. The greens too, by the way. Um... But Schminky to me, if I would have to go back to one brand, Schminky would be it because it, it combines, I don't know, for some reason it just feels to me more like the best out of all of those. But I know that's rubbish because um, Rembrandt by Talents and Winsor & Newton Artists is just as good. So it's not a matter of one paint being better than the other. It's totally personal preference. Um... 
They're available in, in half pants, full pants, and they are available in tubes as well. So you can easily put it into a um, very cheap palette and then take that with you, like so. No problem there. Um, one of the things that I really, really, really like about Schminky, I mean, um, it's something that makes me loyal to the brand. So they did that very well, is this color chart. It's actually a booklet. And just take a look here, the color wheel on the back, where they position the colors that they have totally on, you know, in a color wheel. Um, but that's not all the best things inside. There is a lot of information about the brand, about the factory and how it started and how they do it and how they produce it. There is a lot of information about, um, the, about, um, uh, characteristics of the paint. So light fastness, how well they cover, um, whether they stain a lot, um, you know, a lot of information. I mean, this is information that other brands don't give away. Well, they do on their website, but this you can hold. You can keep it right beside you. And that proves to come in so handy because and now we get to the most wonderful part of this uh, little booklet. Look, here is a color chart. So here is the, the little examples. This is where you can see what wonderful colors they have. And all the different hues of colors, wonderful. So then it contains some information on the paints and the pigments used. And they even have the pigment codes right here. So you can always look up if certain uh, paints can be hand painted or not. Um, I am very careful doing that with artist quality paint because um, the pigments in here, you don't want to get them in your inside your under your skin, so to speak. But the most wonderful thing about this color chart is that Schminky offers information on how the pigment behaves. So if you want to mix um, a, a flesh color, a skin color, then Pinky actually, uh, Schminky, <laughs> Pinky, Schminky actually writes down for some colors that you can use them very well for um, for skin colors, I'm going to see which ones they were. Um, here. So here they say um, for uh, 667, Umbra Natur, uh, natural umber. They say that it's a light brown color. It lays a beautiful film. And um, it's a standard color for painting landscapes. It is this color. So when you get your hands on this little booklet, it can help you choose the colors that you want to use. Um, this uh, will also give you some information on what colors to mix it with which pigments go together with which other pigments. What it also says is that if there is a blue in there that's not light fast, that they say if you want a light fast variant, then you have to pick that one, you know, to get, cl to get it as close as possible. So in the process of using artists' uh, quality paint, it is so important to learn about the paint you're using, about the pigments, how they behave, and what you can do with them. Um, and this book is going to help you a lot. Um, I got this for free. And I have learned so much from that. Um, what it also has, it offers a lot of information about which colors are available and about mixing the colors. And this is all the sets that they have. I like this one. <laughs> I don't have it. I, I've seen it once. 
This is a ceramic palette with all these little holes in it. And then a lot of half pans. Are they full? No, half. So, um, you know, if I ever get to be a rich girl <laughs> someday. Um, but, you know, that's what, what, what the Schminky Horror Dam is to me. This is the name of the brand, Schminky Horror Dam. Um, it's a total package. Not only does Schminky provide us with a gorgeous quality paint, it also provides us with a very decent booklet on the paint and on, on every um, characteristic of the paint. The paint's got character, the paint's got balls, and this book is going to tell you exactly how to tame it. Which is what I miss from the old Holland that I talked about er earlier, that I find a little hard to get control of. Schminky tells me how to do it, and I like it. Thumbs up for Schminky. So, so far, my review, I hope I was of help to you, and I wish you a lot of luck and joy in, um, in making a decision on which brand you will buy. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.